And I'm very excited to have Adriano here with me now. Adriano, can you hear me? Are you yeah. Perfect. Can you hear me? I can hear you perfectly. Oh, okay. <laughs> How okay. Good. good. Everything, everything is good. Oh, and uh, it is uh, fantastic to be connected back to Canada. And I was very excited to hear about uh, uh, over the Rambo because um, it was my first customer in Canada when I started my business. And I had amazing relationship uh, with the owner and uh, we did so much together. I was selling to him Goldie and Diesel and Replay and we was part of uh, let's say denim revolution at that time. But in some way similar to what is happening today because there are so many changes and uh, I would say this one is going to be probably the second revolution for uh, the denim world. I'm very excited to hear about and, that. Uh, I'm also happy to, to see Andrew back home. Yes, we brought Andrew back home. <laughs> yeah, and to show that uh, uh, we can be global, but we can be also local. And local is very, very interesting because uh, we can be connected with more people and hear much more about what they think and uh, what they like to, <clears throat> uh, to do in the denim business. Totally. Uh, today, after hundreds of, uh, of webinars on sustainability, on yeah. innovation, and uh, circularity. I would like to talk a little bit more about um, the design process because the design process, in my opinion, is very, very strategic because uh, um, obviously we create our aesthetic, our point of view, but uh, more than any other, basically we uh, design also the whole process because we choose materials, we choose uh, trends, we choose uh, how to make it, how to wash it, and also how to distribute and also how to talk to our uh, consumers. <coughs> so I think that uh, uh, to talk about that, I like to take an approach that is about what I did uh, in the horrible time and devastating time of uh, uh, the early time of uh, COVID. Uh, consider one thing that uh, obviously I'm part of the old generation and uh, I was hands-on. And oh. so imagine that uh, when they cut my hands, it's like cutting my brain. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and so we had a first days uh, of uh, that we was desperate but at a certain point, uh, we was think, okay, uh, we have to stop and think positive. And so with my friend, uh, Bo Lawrence, that owns um, the stores uh, Ace Rivington in Santa Barbara, we decided, okay, we have to do something and we have to uh, take the opportunity of what is happening and move it into a positive area. And uh, let's say the first uh, motivation of this brand that we created that is called uh, Ace uh, Gold Green was uh, to, to give a positive message and uh, experiment the fact uh, that we can do a brand even uh, with a social distance, uh, with Zoom calls, and yeah. it's funny because uh, at a certain point we decided uh, to, make, uh, to make something that was not a gene because uh, we said, okay, we do something that is a typical of uh, the Zoom call. That is the top. You don't see genes. <laughs> so we are here. <laughs> and uh, Obviously, we approach uh, this uh, trying to understand what uh, 
the desire of the consumers are uh, and uh, in the COVID era. And uh, let's say there are a certain number of things that we've been considering. First of all, we feel like the consumer is interested in something that uh, is durable. So this one means a better quality that is totally disconnected from uh, the traditional fashion seasons. Mm -hmm. The other thing is uh, that uh, the maniac shopping, shopping is over. Forever? And I'm so happy to hear that. I am very happy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what I think is uh, that today the consumer buys a product only if uh, there is a reason to buy it. That is a very important point, means uh, that our job uh, as designers is to create the reason to buy. That is not only about sketching and uh, uh, create a trend or uh, whatever, but to give uh, substance because uh, I feel like <coughs> consumer today, they asking for transparency uh, about uh, uh, to know about the material, where the production is, how the distribution is. The other good news in my opinion is uh, that uh, we, uh, we trash the old fashioned rules. Okay. means uh, uh, who is telling us uh, that every three months or four months we have to present a collection of 50 pieces, 60 pieces that we know by a fact that probably uh, I would say 80% of them, they're not gonna find a buyer. Totally. So it's just a waste. Uh, and uh, I think that going in a very simple way is uh, a, a very important factor. Yeah. In fact, we decided to go with one item and to show that uh, if you put all your energy, all your efforts in make it uh, the best way you can, you can create, uh, you can create uh, a brand. Beautiful brand. And, and also, I really admired your, your future visions for the industry. We have about three minutes left. I'd love for you to be able to share some of, of your insights for the, what you'd like to see in terms of sustainability and design for the future of our industry. I mean, uh, I don't care about the fashion weeks, honestly. <laughs> Just uh, fashion for me is 365 days. Every day is good. So honestly, when you create a product, you just bring it to the market. I don't care about Paris. I don't care about London. Obviously I care because I care about all the creative people, but I think the system has to be different. When you have something that you believe, believe is right, you just bring it to the market. And so that is a big uh, revolution. The other thing is uh, to create a product that is totally recyclable. That uh, this one is uh, very important. I make it just an example. When we make a jean, we think so much about the fabric, but then we forgot that our thread is uh, polycotton. We know that uh, polyester is not recyclable. And also to have uh, uh, a polyester in something is giving an incentive to the dirty industry that I don't want to give it to them. Give them the other thing that is very important in my opinion is uh, uh, the low budget okay. because uh, let's say uh, I'm thinking about uh, the new generation of uh, designers and uh, I don't want that they become the slave of the big industry they have to find their own way you have to find I was impressed of something that you said, uh, saying, oh, my line, uh, the minimum are so high and I can afford it. Yeah, and I that is a very important point. One idea, for instance, and this one is an idea for Andrew, he's putting together Kimping Exchange. Mm 
that is about uh, a fabric market. That's Why so we don't put uh, on, uh, on the market all of the fabric inventory that all the mills and uh, uh, especially the brands they have and they make that fabric available to the young designer. Because if I have, uh, for instance, a thousand yards uh, of fabric in my inventory and uh, Annie is calling, can I have a hundred yards or 50? That is possible. And you create uh, a new way to recycle and give value to uh, the inventory and you give also uh, an opportunity to the young people to go in business. Wow. Talking about uh, the type 1T that we created, basically we've been created uh, the T thinking about uh, uh, our fight for sustainability and uh, circularity. And uh, of course we did so much on the denim but at that time I was thinking uh, to just rethink an iconic item that is American tea. And uh, so we started uh, rethinking the whole process, all the material, the sewing, the washing and the dyeing. For instance, of course we love cotton, but uh, our t-shirt is cotton free. Cotton free means uh, that uh, we all know that uh, growing cotton, even if uh, it was been in the last year, a lot of innovation and improvement in growing cotton still takes a lot of water, a lot of chemicals, a lot of work, a lot of land. And so we decided to try to move on and we created a fabric in collaboration with all my staff of uh, House of Gold. We created a fabric that is a blend between hemp and uh, tensile. Hemp for me is a new cotton. Means uh, for many different reasons is uh, the fiber of the future. It's natural, grows fast is uh, um, much stronger than cotton, is antibacterial and uh, grows easy all over the world. Yeah. And so we like to go and bring uh, hemp because we strongly believe that uh, is uh, the fiber of the future. Totally. Blending, uh -huh. being, we've been blending hemp with tensile. And cell, everybody knows about uh, uh, Tencel is honestly is never celebrated enough yeah. because uh, my my friend Mama Tencel, Trisha is gonna be happy to hear, but uh, is giving a special comfortable uh, when it's mixed, uh, especially with the other fibers. Right. You know that tensile is uh, created from uh, trees that they grow in uh, uh, tree uh, farms that are certificated yes. and safe. Totally. And the other thing is uh, uh, thread. Thread? The thread uh, we, that we are using is uh, not polycotton but is 100% uh, um, uh, tensile from Covil that is an amazing uh, factory in uh, Spain. But the most important thing that we're bringing and that is totally new is a collaboration that we have uh, with uh, Officina 39. Yes. Officina 39 started years ago, an amazing project that basically is creating new colors from the old ones. This one means uh, they divide uh, the, um, the garments by color 
and from where they create a new color. Basically, it's recycling the colors and giving the color a new life. I feel that this one is a, an incredible story. And so they call it uh, Raychron. And uh, <clears throat> I think uh, it's something that is, uh, has uh, an incredible value for all of us especially the small brands that are bring, are looking to bring something that is totally new in the market. Totally. And Adrian, I hate to cut you off here, but I really appreciate you kind of explaining to us just the concept of A School Green and these new models. And for people that want to learn more about A School Green in particular, um, is it aschoolgreen.com? Yes. Okay, and, and, and I, I very much look forward to speaking to you more on hemp, and, and I really appreciate your time and your insights here today. Um, unfortunately, that's all the time we have left for today, but we will definitely look forward to, um, to, spread, to spread all of this insight, and maybe you can stay tuned for something on the Simply Suzette blog that we will be doing. So. And uh, any... Yes. Uh, I would like that uh, you run uh, the video of uh, Fabricant okay. that uh, is uh, what is going to happen in the future okay. means uh, we're not going to produce uh, uh, samples anymore. We're going to go digital. We're going to make uh, showrooms that they are created with a 3D design. And I think this one is a contribution in terms of sustainability that the design can give. Perfect. I, I, I'm excited to play the video then. So let's get that going for you. Let me share my screen and we'll get that going. Adriano. So I really appreciate you having you here today. And um, I'll unmute you. Yeah. So thank you again so much for your time. And I will speak to you soon. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Annie. Right. Have a good rest of your day. Yeah. And yeah. you thank you. Bye bye. Bye.